Okay, here's my inverter limiter setup. Uh, as you can see, I have it running on a separate circuit. Uh, I have my big UPS plugged in, and that's where the inverter is limiter is plugged in as well. Um, and so I have a separate circuit, and then of course I have the limiter Hall effect connector connected to that circuit. And so now what I'm looking at is here are my the two red wires are the wires that are coming from my solar panels and I have them connected to my inverter limiter and the limiter is connected to the extra circuit that I have in my fuse box that is connected to my UPS where everything is running. I mounted it upside down because well, it was just easier because I had some other things here and I just replaced it with this and it was easier for me to mount it upside down. But what we're looking at is I, I wanted you to see this. Okay, right now you see that we're producing like roughly 500 watts. Now if you look at those other s small numbers right here, 134 watts 130 watts that's actually coming from the limiter which means 130 watts are being drawn off that circuit right now so my UBS so my solar panels are producing 500 watts my UPS is pulling more than 500 watts so 127 watts are being pulled from power to power my UPS from the grid. As you can see, it's a pretty sunny day today. There's my solar panels right there. Okay, what I did was I just went and adjusted the tilt on my solar panels, and as you can see now. I am getting more wattage. Pretty cool, huh? Let me show you my tilt setup. Here's the tilt I have going on now. It is December as well. So here's my custom design right here. I built this is structure completely myself uh, this was my design um, I have a tracker actually installed on it right there at the top but I don't have it connected it's because I got some cheapo actuators and the actuators are just not strong enough uh, for this heavy structure that I built I need to get stronger actuators but the only actuator that I really mess with is the tilt which is this one and I just connect my battery to this right here and I'm able to move it up and down so that's my setup Okay, so now what I wanted to show you is I turned off one of my really unpower efficient computers that I had hooked up to this UPS. And as you can see, this thing is only inputting around 430 watts as it was doing 500 and some. And then if you look at this wattage right here, you see how it says 7, 10, 6 watt, 8 watt 11 watt that's how many watts is 
actually coming from the actual grid itself now. So this device is actually running all the stuff that is connected to the UPS and is throttling back is because it's only running at 435 watts. That's how the inverter limiter works. Okay, I just turned my computer back on. And as you can see, the wattage is jumping. And of course, it's back up to 523 watts. And the voltage that's actually coming from the grid is 111, 107 watts. So now I'm actually using 110 watts of power.